we will be underway. The teams then, Paris Saint-Germain against Nice. I'm your commentator, Peter Drury, and providing his unique brand of expert analysis, here's Jim Beckley. Hi, Peter. Always good to work with you. I'm really looking forward to this now. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? Well, it's hard for me not to say Mario Balotelli. He's a, a maverick, an enigma. Uh, you never quite know what you're going to get. He's as petulant as he is passionate. Talented? Definitely. Combustible? Probably. Yeah, the easiest way to make a difference is to score, so no argument there. Balotelli. Wolf loose, who's getting there? Lucas Moura. And it's Cavani. He's away! Delivers a cross. Takes it out to the wing. Moves out on the left now. Schneider. He's in space and looking for options. That intervention was very necessary. Marquinhos tries to root one option. And the finish! Good stop. That wasn't easy. That wasn't the easiest of saves by any means, Peter. And I think his instincts were, well, they were just razor sharp. Great corner, and he did the rest. Yeah, I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch, and it was fully deserved. He gave it everything he had. blood here. Still a fragile lead though, they can't afford to sit on this. Chalet. Chalet. There's some are shouting for a corner but the referee says goal kick. Varassi. Draxler. Out for a throw. That's a throw. It's Verratti. Neymar. Looks to dink one in. Shoots! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. The keeper has shown great concentration there I think his anticipation pretty much did the trick for him there to hoof it away and it's Draxler now the cross and that's been repelled and that's not the cross he had in mind well that's clearly not what he wanted to do into the channel tries to cut back 
Nice get it back again. How about it? You can get that clear. Shakes the volley it. Good effort, and it is right on half time. Well, it hasn't exactly got the plan so far, but there's no need to panic. There's still plenty of time to get back into this. As always, an early goal would help swing things back in their favour. Here we go again. Paris Saint-Germain need to get the balance right to sort this out. Ambition must be complemented by just the right amount of caution and I think the more experienced players can oversee that. Cavani tries to get it forward quickly. Neymar boots it upfield. And that's a goal kick. Marquinhos gets it back. And he certainly caught him there, it's a free kick. Just the talking to, I think. Yes, it is. Cavani considers his options. Well, who knows, Peter? It may turn out to be a, a pivotal moment when we're reflecting back. And that's caused a worry or two. Oh, he couldn't have hit that any better. Any other time it would have sneaked in. into the second half. Your impression so far, Jim? Paris Saint-Germain are now matching their opponents blow for blow despite the scoreline. No shrinking violence out there. This defence just doesn't trust itself to, to play a higher line. Frightened of people getting in behind. Yeah, absolutely. It just opens up the opportunity of not only strikers getting behind, but the runners from midfield too. A long and direct... So the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. Yeah, it wouldn't have been the most eye-catching goal we'd seen. Ultimately, the numbers prevented him from scrambling it in. Dante. Into the last quarter of an hour. Dante. Chalet. Drexler passes it through. Done very well to intervene. Chalet. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Has gone out. He checks on the touchline. A change about to occur.
intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Paris Saint-Germain are running out of time to save themselves. Hopes one over. Now here's the through ball. Dupree's given a throw. Di Maria. Four extra minutes added on. Neymar. The ball has crossed the line, and it's a throw. And that is that. One goal settled it. A tense and exciting game that just got away. Well, once they went behind, I just wonder whether the manager can be pleased with himself. I thought he could have done a little bit more to get them back on level terms. And all that remains for me is to thank Jim Beglin. That's it from us tonight. A very good evening to one and all.